That's the amazing voice of Texas countertenor John Holliday. In 2017, he won the prestigious Marian Anderson Vocal Award from the Kennedy Center. He's performed with the Metropolitan Opera at Carnegie Hall, even the Apollo Theater this spring. But luckily for us, he will be in Dallas this weekend in a new partnership between the Dallas Opera and the Nasher Sculpture Center. It's called Sculpting Sounds at the Nasher. And without further ado, our special guest at Midday, we welcome John Holliday. Nice. Thank you so much for joining us. It's my pleasure. Such a pleasure having you here. Now, you are from Texas. You're originally from Houston. I am. But you have some Dallas ties. I do Explain. have some Dallas ties. I am a 2007 graduate of the Meadows School of the Arts at Woo! Southern Methodist University. Hey, so I love that. Yeah. So before we talk about, I mean, everything that you're going to be doing this yes. weekend, you're a professor yourself. I am a professor yes. myself. I am a professor at the Conservatory of Music at Lawrence University in Appleton, Wisconsin. Ah, so, congratulations thank there. Thank you very much. Now, talking about just, I mean, your musicality. I mean, what really got you started here? I know that wow. Big Mama yeah. kind of played a role. Tell us who that yeah, is. Yeah, I was going to say, you. Big Mama has been such an instrumental part of my life. Uh, she's my heart. She's my rock. And uh, she was a music minister at my church growing up. And so whatever Big Mama told you to do, <laughs> you did it and you did it with joy. But luckily, I really, I really loved music. And so I just, I wanted to be exactly like her. In fact, she's also a teacher, a retired teacher now. Uh, singer and pianist so I grew up doing all those things and she just kind of told me that anything was possible and mm. so I took those words to heart and uh and now this is what's happening today. So I'm really, I'm really thankful. So for successful. I and mean, we could just go on and on about your accolades. But for those of you who don't know, Big Mama, that's his grandmama. Yes. All right, there we go. Yes, but yes. we talk about counter tenor for those yes. people who may not know much about the musical world. I <sighs> mean, that that's major. I've had the pleasure of hearing you sing before. You were phenomenal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, you, you are. But Thank what you. is a counter tenor? Explain. A counter tenor yeah. is a specific voice type that kind of originated way, 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 way back. And we specialize in music from the 1600s to 17. 1950s. That's called the Baroque era. Lots mm. of Handel, Bach, Beethoven, uh, Gluck, Mozart, even. So, uh, and it's it's a voice that is like basically a male soprano, a male soprano or an alto. Which is insane. It's it's crazy. It's rare. It's very, very rare. rare. Because when you started singing, I mean, I was like. Wait, 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 that's, that's John? Hold on, hold on, hold on. That was at a, a Big Ten event that we had at Mountain View College a yes, few weeks back yes, where you did a speech so and you performed. Fun. You were amazing. That's where I got to see him. Yeah. But, I mean, it, I didn't know it was you. I was like, wait a minute, that's him? Yeah. That's to him. hit those notes? Oh, yeah. To get that false It takes a lot of work now, you know. <laughs> Uh, but it, it's it's so much fun being a part of this unique voice type uh, and having the opportunity to sing all over the world. And I got to meet you. Oh, See, of course. Of well, there you know. Go. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Dallas oh, okay. people over here. <laughs> but what does it mean for you to be, I mean, a young black man? I mean, you're oh. accomplishing major, major things left and right. And also, I mean, you're giving back your time yes. for our youth as well. And I think that's so important. Yeah, I think it's really important that um, all people can see that, you know, that there is black excellence all over. Yes. And I'm a huge proponent of that. Black excellence is so important to me. Uh, but being a young African-American man out here doing this, it's important for me to show others to, so, to, that they can see themselves in me, that they can see anything as mm -hmm. possible. And I'm always teaching young people, whether they're African-American, white, Hispanic, Asian, whatever, that everything you seek to be, you already are. So I'm just lucky that and blessed that I get to share that with everyone. It's just a it's a privilege and I can I consider myself to be supremely and fiercely blessed. Let me see what's bring his life. And you're very inspirational, I'm telling you. I mean just from your story. Well. I mean, your, your, your abilities and um, your passion. I, I love that. Well, let's talk a little bit about your music and what yes. influences you. I mean, I've heard that even, even Cardi B yeah, can Cardi influence B. the way you sing. Cardi B, that's my, my girl. girl. Yes. Cardi B, you know, holler at me now. <laughs> um, no, I love Cardi B. Uh, I like Drake, too. I like Jadena. Uh, but in, in terms of my classical singing, those kind of do, even though they're not classical singers, they do inform the way I think about music. Because mm -hmm. I just think music is a, is a worldwide language. Uh, but I love like Yolanda Adams. I grew oh, up listening yes. to to her, Shirley Caesar. You know, uh, Celine Dion is my favorite singer in the whole world. Don't talk about it if you don't like her. That's my girl. <laughs> um, I mean, I just like all kinds of music. And so what you'll see in this recital at the Nasher is that Amazing. it's a culmination of my my love for opera and also bringing in some uh, some jazz standards. I love Ella Fitzgerald, Mel Torme, Sarah Vaughan, Nina Simone. Like those are my people. I wish that I mean that I could, if I had a. Uh, uh, 
a place that I could have dinner with all of them and have people with you me. They, 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 would, they would be with me <laughs> oh, yes. uh, because I just love their, their singing so much. But the recital will have lots of those influences in it, classical and jazz, and maybe a few surprises. Dude, thank you so much. Aww. My John, pleasure. it's My always pleasure. great seeing you. Sculpting Sounds at the Nasher featuring John Holiday will be Sunday afternoon at 2 right at the Nasher Sculpture Center in the Dallas Arts District. It is free, but you have to RSVP at DallasOpera.org. You just go to the Special Events tab.